Those are the masseter muscles, the muscles in charge of clamping down that sharp beak and enabling these turtles to feed on organisms that have adapted for protection against such attacks. What you're looking back there? This is a family show. Turtles. These shell-encased reptiles have been walking this earth since the time of the dinosaurs and have filled so many incredible roles in a plethora of ecosystems, from freshwater streams to deep oceans to even some of the driest deserts on Earth, turtles and tortoises have made their home almost anywhere that they can survive. Today we will be in some chilly spring-fed rivers in northern Florida looking for musk turtles. These turtles thrive in cool, moving water with plenty of invertebrates to chomp through. Let's see what all we can find. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm in the beautiful Florida panhandle, and I'm diving in some very chilly spring water. Now, what am I searching for, you might ask? Well, I'm looking for some beautiful shelled friends. That's right. Today, I'm looking for turtles, and I'm hoping to get some musk turtles. So I've got my wetsuit on, as you can see, form-fitting. I'm really in shape, but uh, we're hoping to, hoping to see a lot of stuff, and uh, we're hoping to show a lot of stuff to you all at home. So join us as we search for some musk turtles. Now, luckily, the clarity on this day was really, really great. So my job was made a lot easier. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of floating along with the current, scanning the bottom of the riverbed, hoping to see a four, five, six inch long oval shell darting through some of the vegetation. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled as I look for these beautiful turtles who are out and foraging for food. So I found this part of the stream, which looks really, really nice. So I started grabbing some additional footage and little did I know that a little surprise was on the horizon. Check this out. Big one. Yeah, I was like just getting some B-roll and it just showed up. Now, something important to note is the sheer size of these turtles' heads. Easy, it's okay. Now you can see right at the base of that head that thick, meaty muscle. Now these animals are feeding pretty heavily on armored invertebrates like crayfish, clams, and snails. So they need that excellent bite pressure. Those are the masseter muscles, the muscles in charge of clamping down that sharp beak and enabling these turtles to feed on organisms that have adapted for protection against such attacks. But take a look at that. These are beautiful turtles. Love that. And they've got a nice, uh, Nice turtly smell, of course. Now they've got a little bit of a hinge there. You can see how that part of the plastron hinges just a little bit. Uh, not quite as extreme as something like a box turtle or, or even some species of mud turtles, uh, but still enough to kind of pull in that huge head and provide just a little bit of protection. Too cool. We're gonna let this guy get right back to feeding on 
invertebrates. Ha <laughs> cool. Now, finding and catching turtles may be a serious business, but that doesn't necessarily mean I have to be serious while doing it. So, of course, we had a lot of fun as well. What you're looking back there? This is a family show, not a make a family show. <laughs> Good little turtle man. Yee -yee, love action. <laughs> now, you might not realize it, but the southeastern United States is a very special place in the world for turtles. We have some of the highest turtle biodiversity on the planet. That means that there are so, so many species of turtles here in the southeastern United States that we got our name on the list for one of the places with the most turtles. So it's really, really exciting to be able to come out and enjoy these types of habitats because you can see the amount of vegetation and areas for basking and, and prey items, fish, snails, crayfish, minnows, everything is out here for these animals. So it's no surprise that these are some of the best habitats on earth for many, many species of turtles. Such a cool area. It's just beautiful out here. I know the the skunk apes wood knocking and communicating with each other. They're trying to create more skunk apes. Now, I find these turtles incredibly cute and inquisitive as they kind of watch you as you follow them through the water column. It's so cool to see just how aware these turtles are of their surroundings, but Remember, you have to be if you were a small turtle. There are alligators in this river. There are larger turtles that will make an easy snack of these guys. There are all sorts of birds and even some large fish uh, that could snack on these bite-sized reptiles. So it's good to see that these are alert and that they can get away from danger should it rear its head. Despite being a seasoned animal catcher, there are still things that slip my eye in the moment. So take a look here. Let's see if you can spot what I missed while passing through this seagrass. Did you miss it? Let's take one last look. I'll slow it down. Look right here, a sneaky musk turtle that evaded capture as I went through this lovely patch of grass. In total, we saw about six of these beautiful little musk turtles in this amazing, amazing habitat. It was such a fun time, and I just loved being able to experience their habitat alongside them. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks so much for um, tuning in, hanging out, <laughs> learning something. <laughs> I just had so much fun <laughs> catching some turtles out here. It was a great time. Uh, we found quite a few, <laughs> lots of adults, no juveniles, really no babies, but that's all good. I love to see all those healthy turtles doing well. Oh, we're fat and healthy great gorgeous just amazing turtles and just beautiful beautiful habitat out here and just an all-around great time <laughs> but like many many great times all around the world sadly this one may also and will also come to an end so my apologies and my goodbyes thank you so much for tuning in I really enjoyed showing you these turtles and other creatures. I really enjoyed you watching this video as well. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video and you enjoy me and my channel and my work and my mission and 
just my stuff. <laughs> and uh, buy the merch. <laughs> Not wearing it right now, I'm wearing my wetsuit because, you know, it's a suit that you wear when you're wet. And uh, of course, um, comment if you like the video. I, I like to see the comments, I read the comments. And uh, tune in next time, maybe, because uh, you just never know what zany stuff <laughs> will be up to next. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we just might find uh, some more creatures. So uh, I'll see you on the flip side, and uh, take care of yourselves for me, won't you?